G'day, g'day, and welcome to part two of episode 25 of Tartarian Truthers with your hosts, Casey and Jojo. Now, last week, we started delving into the sound of the old world, and we looked at sound healing and how that may have been used on a grand scale to keep people healthy and disease-free, right? Yeah, so this week, we're going to go a little deeper into frequency and how it can affect human health in a negative way. Ugh, not good, eh? But first, let's start with something really cool that I didn't even know about until you showed me a video about them when we were just getting the research together for this episode. The Carillion. So in Australia, we have four of these mammoth instruments, the biggest musical instrument in the world. Consisting of a series of fixed bells, sound is made when they are struck by clappers. Yeah, so there's one in Bathurst, which is part of the War Memorial. It has 49 bells. In Sydney, we have another Carillion, but this one is actually a part of the Sydney University and it has 54 bells. The Sydney University War Memorial Carillion was dedicated in 1928 and is said to commemorate the 197 undergraduates, graduates and staff who died in the First World War. Now, check out this video of it being played. It's amazing, especially with all of the footage of the old world uni building that goes along with it. That is so incredible, seeing those buildings from a totally different perspective too. But did you know that the Sydney Carillion has a sister in the National Carillion down in Canberra, which was dedicated in 1970? Now, this one is epic and huge and on a little island on a lake. It's just so grand and and odd. Mm, Yeah, it is. It's, It's a little odd, I admit. And finally, the last one is in Geraldton in WA at the St. Francis Xavier Roman Catholic Cathedral, containing 27 bells. But this one didn't come into play until very recently in 2019, although the cathedral itself was built in 1938. So quite modern per se, but we're definitely getting old world resonance machine vibes from this building, aren't we, Jojo? Absolutely. I mean, look at it. It is got so much going on. I mean, it's not often that you see a labyrinth out in front of a modern day cathedral these days, hey? They are very old and I think they can be traced back to about 4,000 years ago. In fact, very odd to have one in Geraldton, Western Australia, just saying. It is. Weird. <laughs> So according to Wiki, the first Korean ever was dated at being quite primitive back in 1510, and it was in this very primitive-looking building, the Udenard Town Hall. <laughs> so primitive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Extremely primitive. <laughs> yeah, right. So if you go to the, the Wiki of this stunning building, it wasn't actually built until 1526, though. So... That doesn't quite add up, Wiki. Mm. But that building, huh? I mean, look at it. Built in a time, Jojo, when they say there wasn't any modern technology, no electricity, just horse and cart. Mm. Yeah, right. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't buy it. No way. Mm -mm. Anyway, so Carillions are pretty rare these days. Like we mentioned earlier, there are only four here in Australia. And I feel like perhaps not all of today's Carillionists really know how to play them 
the way they were supposed to be played because they don't always sound that great. Just take a listen to this one. Oh, that actually sounds so bad. So, like, clanky. <laughs> it was painful, really. It really but was. And played well. Like, imagine if you heard one played really, really well. Can you imagine how it kind of could make you feel when we think about frequency, resonance, acoustics, and sound healing? Like, totally different. To- totally opposite to painful, I think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. So did you know that in 1939, while World War II was apparently raging on, the military were actually doing acoustic warfare research? They were investigating how sound, particularly music, would affect people. And what they discovered was that by shifting the frequencies over just a little bit, it could actually induce hysteria. Wow. So it makes total sense that in 1953, the standardization of music was officially changed from 432 hertz to 440 hertz, which is said to go against humans' natural frequencies. And according to LaRouche, a musical theorist, uh, but if you look him up, he's also known as a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> the name they like to call anyone who doesn't go along with their mainstream narrative, right? Mm-hmm. But anywho, he says that 440 hertz stretches the human vocal range and subsequently produces aggressive music. He's also quoted as saying, rock was not an accidental thing. This was done by people who set out in a deliberate way to subvert the United States. It was done by British intelligence. He also wrote that the Beatles were a product shaped according to British Psychological Warfare Division specifications. hysteria again right oh my yes. gosh <laughs> crazy I mean did that happen to people when they listen to like Mozart or Bach or Beethoven back in the day the opposite reaction huh I mean people use it to help them focus when studying and they say that it helps the baby's brain development and you guessed it they are all composed using the 432 hertz frequency whereas modern day music at this unnatural pitch is actually causing imbalance and creating a hedonistic and disorderly social state with the end result being the psychic poisoning on a massive scale of the minds of humanity. No way, Casey. That 
can't be true. Seriously, that is freaking disgusting. But that absolute garbage is everywhere these days. You walk into a shop and that's what's playing full ball. No wonder the world is in the state it's in. Huh? Yeah, it's, uh, I want to use a word that I probably can't use, mm. but it's <laughs> it's happened so slowly though and over such a long period of time that like if you talk about this kind of stuff with people they just think you're totally nuts but this is documented I mean this stuff is legit happening hmm. you know they took down our beautiful healing bells they slowly destroyed our grand old organs you know that were made perfectly to create peace and harmony in our body minds and souls and instead, they filled our lives with music made specifically to cause unease, disease, and lewd behavior. And if you want to learn more about this and how it pertains to what is happening all around us today, we highly recommend doing some research into the Tavistock Institute. And don't be fooled by their not for profit organization status on their website. This is merely a front for what is ultimately the biggest and most elaborate social engineering experiment ever. And if they get their way, they will continue to not only use music as a way to distract and control the masses, but to also create an environment so uncomfortable to live in that if you aren't aware, you'll be swept up into subservience and lost forever. G'day, g'day, and welcome to part two of episode 25 of Tartarian Truthers with your host, Casey. <laughs> Again, every flippin' time. Do you know what I, oh, what happened? Did we move? Yeah, we moved. Oh, for fuck's sake. I addled. I addled. You addled it in? Did you addled it in? I addled. Oh, God. Inches too are young. No, you could have said that. Oh! What you want to do? What you want to do? You want to shoot. 12 inches. What the heck? <laughs> g'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Tartarian Truthers with your host, Casey and Jojo. Look at those two beauties. Hello. 